Good afternoon from Disney's Animal Kingdom. We have not been here in quite a while. There are six holiday treats that we're gonna try today. You guys know I love trying treats, so let's jump right into it and try some holiday treats at Disney's Animal Kingdom. So as soon as I walked in, I picked up a guide map and I thought that it would have some of the treats in it. And it looks like it's got at least one in there that tells us to go feast on Yuletide treats at Dino Bite Snacks, Trillo Bites, Thirsty River Bar, and Trek Snacks, and Andapur Ice Cream Truck, and Dawa Bar. Also, there was a Disney Parks blog post about what the treats are. So that's what I'm gonna be going off of today. Just walking in and they have the Merry Menagerie puppets out and about and everybody loves them. They are adorable. Yes. So adorable. Bye. Hello. They're adorable. Can I give you a little pat on the head? No? Maybe? Yeah. <laughs> More? Oh. Thank you so much. So when we get to the Tree of Life, we're actually gonna make a left and head over to Pizza Fari for our first treat. First stop, Pizza Fari for the Menagerie Cupcake. And this is actually also available over at Creature Comforts, which is right there, which is a Starbucks location here in Animal Kingdom. But I figured we would go to Pizza Fari. The artwork inside of Pizza Fari is very interesting. Look at this two-headed peacock. And then just lots and lots of butterflies. This is what I'm getting. I wonder if it's gonna look exactly like this picture or not. This actually looks a lot better than I thought it would. This is the Menagerie Cupcake, gingerbread cake topped with cream cheese snow and an adorable polar bear. I 100% agree, that is an adorable polar bear. So admittedly, I'm not the biggest fan of gingerbread, but I don't know, this might be good. It looks very, there's a, a lot of sugar on there. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eat this this polar bear because I don't know what it is. It might just be white chocolate. No. Sorry, I got a little confused because the cream cheese icing was on the bottom and I was like, wait, that doesn't taste like white chocolate. Yeah, it's just white chocolate. Oh, that's really good. It actually almost tastes like carrot cake. Wow. Hmm. That is good. Tastes just like a carrot cake. There's a lot of sugar on there, but pretty darn delicious. Wow. I was not expecting to like this, but I like it. I'm gonna get one more bite here. Hmm. I just got a lot of ginger in that bite. So it's like a carrot cake with a ginger accent to it. That cream cheese icing really makes it. That's so much sugar though. Cause you can like, just, it's like granulated sugar all over the top of it. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a look at the inside of it. And if you look on the very top, you guys see all of that granulated sugar in there? I don't even know, oh, here you go. Here's a good shot of the granulated sugar. Yeah, look at that granulated sugar in there. Pretty intense, it does make it very beautiful, but it also makes it extremely sugary. Oh, the snowflake was some sort of weird chewy candy, like the gum you used to get in packs of baseball cards, but not like gum, but like the consistency, that's not my favorite. I did try just the cake alone, and it's not my favorite because it's too spicy, like too gingerbready, but because it has the cream cheese frosting on it, really balances out the spiciness of it. Just think of a carrot cake, but add a little bit of ginger to it. Strangely, I think that this would actually be really good with raisins or sultanas in it, I think. Then again, what do I know? And we are headed to our next treat. We're gonna go just next to it, down this path, into Pandora, the world of Avatar. It does make me sad that all of the Christmas music just stops as you cross this bridge into Pandora. Don't they have Christmas music on Pandora? You know the expats have gotta be singing something. This is probably one of the most random things I've seen on a trash can at Walt Disney World. A wooden hanger. So I was just walking past this route here and I was kind of wondering, do you think that they designed it specifically to be a chair, like a seat? But I've never seen anybody sitting in it, I wonder. So here we are all the way in the very back of Pandora, just to give you guys some wayfinding. This is Flight of Passage right here and actually the exit of Flight of Passage comes out of this gift shop. This is Pangu Pangu. We're going into Satuli Canteen. Here it is, this is what we're getting here, the white chocolate peppermint cream cheese mousse. 
Actually sounds really good. So I kind of felt like the last cupcake was worth it, but this one was $5.29 and it's pretty darn small, like compared to my hand. A little bit smaller than I thought it was gonna be. So this is the white chocolate peppermint mousse with peppermint sauce, cookies and cream crumbles, meringue, and a chocolate accent. It does look very nice though. I feel like this is an Instagrammable dessert. Now the question is, how does it taste? All right, let's give it a try. It does have flavors that I really think that I will like. Tastes like a candy cane. Can't really taste anything other than like the candy cane flavor to it. There's a whole bunch of other stuff on the inside though. It's not bad. I just wish that it was like more. You know what I mean? Like it needs to be creamier or something. Here's a look at the inside of it. I know it looks like cake. It's not, it's a mousse. I think the bottom down here is a cake though. This is, it's good though. You know what it needs to be? It needs to be pepper and ice cream. Like it needs to be colder than it is. Then it would be so delicious. It's not bad, but I, I, it like needs an extra oomph to it in order to kind of complete the flavor of this mousse. Maybe if it was frozen mousse, oh, that's just ice cream, right? It needs to be ice cream. Peppermint ice cream would be delicious here. I don't know. Like I was expecting the peppermint to be more minty. I think that's why I wanted it to be cold, wanted it to be ice cream, but it wasn't very, like minty, it was a peppermint flavor, but you know how when you eat peppermint, it's like, you know, like you just brush your teeth? That didn't have that, which is strange to me. So that's what I said, it's not bad, but I wish it was colder. All right, we're heading to our next treat. So now we're all done in Pandora and we're gonna head back out and then head towards Dinoland, USA. We're just gonna cross in front of the Tree of Life and head to Dinoland. So the Tree of Life is behind this tree, but I wanted to pass through here because Merry Menagerie is happening again. And I never noticed these light up, I don't know what they would be, herons, cranes, some sort of bird, stork maybe? And they light up at night. I haven't seen that before. Adorable, I love it. It's the best. Nothing puts me in the Christmas mood like a little reindeer. So before we pass the Tree of Life, I did want to point out something over here at Riverside Depot. These little woven ornaments hanging from the garland up here were actually handmade by the artisans from Augusta Training Shop, a nonprofit organization in Augusta, Georgia that employs adults with cognitive and physical disabilities, enabling them to discover their abilities and create rich and meaningful lives. Pretty neat, and you can actually purchase these on Augusta Training Company's website, and we'll put a link to that in the description down below. So now we are heading past the Tree of Life and heading in this direction. Here we go, headed into Dino Land USA, which is actually my favorite Christmas location uh, outside of the Magic Kingdom. I think the Magic Kingdom is just magical at Christmas time, but Dinoland USA, super fun. So before we get all the way into Dinoland USA, we're gonna stop off over here at Trilobites. Get us a shake. This is what we're getting right now. Peppermint cookies and cream milkshake. Sounds so darn delicious. Also, do you guys remember when I tried to explain this tasting sampler? This is very, very confusing. And it's very noticeable by the amount of like words on this little tiny sign or just scan the QR code. This is the peppermint cookies and cream milkshake. And admittedly, when they handed it to me, I was like, what is this? It feels like it's just full of whipped cream. Super lightweight. Also, it was uh, $5.50. For the size that you're getting and how light it is, I don't know that this is worth it at all. All right, let's give it a try. It's a very light flavored milkshake, like not heavy at all. I like that we're listening to Ludwig von, Ludwig von Drake singing Jingle Bell Rock. That's very fun. I mean, it really does kind of just taste like they filled this with whipped cream, which is strange to me. It's like a very creamy milkshake and very fluffy too. But I can tell that it is like a milkshake in there. It just doesn't seem like milkshake consistency. You know how like when you drink a milkshake, it kind of like gets caught all on your mouth and like is like, you know, like in the back of your throat. This doesn't give me that feeling. It really does taste like I'm just drinking uh, whipped cream. It's super fluffy. And you know what? I'm actually not getting very much cookies and cream either. It's like a little bit in there. Okay, what you need to do is you need to take a gigantic sip of it and then that is where you get the full flavor of peppermint and cookies and cream together so like it's 
There it is. Tastes like cookies and cream. And peppermint. So just outside of Dino Lands is Trilo Bites where we got that shake and now we're inside of Dino Land and we're turning in this direction and we're heading over to Dino Bite Snacks. You know what's strange though is on the Disney Parks blog, blog post they didn't mention the snack that was here so we might do seven snacks today rather than the six that I originally thought. It was however shown in the map that we showed when we first walked in. This is what we're getting right here, this ice cream sandwich. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely insane looking. Oh man, I kind of wish I hadn't noticed that this wasn't on the list and just stuck with what was on the list. I'm gonna have a tummy ache, aren't I? These chocolate chip cookies look delicious though. This is called the double chocolate chip peppermint ice cream sandwich. Chocolate chip cookies, a little bit of dipped icing on it there. Vanilla ice cream with some crumbled up candy canes around it. Okay, here we go. It's not as good as it looked. Like it looked really delicious. Something about the chocolate chip cookies is not my favorite. Hmm. The peppermint ice cream was good though. Let's try just the chocolate chip cookie. Okay, here we go. Just the double chocolate chip cookie. It has a very strange flavor to it. Almost like it's burnt or something. You know what's strange? Every time that I do this at Animal Kingdom, I don't really like any of the stuff. But I have done treat videos where I like all the stuff. Just today, and, and the other time that I did one at Animal Kingdom, none of it was good. Why is that? Or maybe there was some good stuff, but today I'm not really finding anything. That first cupcake was pretty good though. It also might be the fact that I've been like eating a ton of treats already and now I'm on to number four. I think that it's gonna be a little bit too sweet for me. If I had just tried this first, it might've been delicious. Maybe that's what the secret is. I need to come back and only do one treat a day and like build up a video. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I would order this again. All right, I feel like I may have been a little bit too harsh on that ice cream sandwich. Now that the flavors have been sitting in my mouth for a little bit, pretty good. It was a pretty good flavor. The uh, the cookie, like the chocolate cookie was not my favorite cookie. It wasn't bad, but I think that, you know, an ice cream sandwich, nice vanilla ice cream, some, some crushed up candy canes on the outside, chocolate cookie, chocolate chocolate chip cookie. Good. I do think that I would have liked it better if it was just a regular chocolate chip cookie on the outside. Maybe like have that same white chocolate peppermint icing type thing on the outside of a regular chocolate chip cookie. I think that would have been delicious. I know what they were going for. I understand the flavor that they were going for. I don't know. There's a lot of ice cream today, and I think that might be an issue too, as I've just been having too much ice cream. We're eating seven treats today, and we've only eaten four. We got three more to go, and I think all three are ice cream. So let's head to the next treat location. So from Dino Bites, we're not going very far. We're just going right next door to Restaurantosaurus. We're going into Restaurantosaurus to get a, another cupcake. This is what we're getting, the Christmas tree cupcake. Gingerbread cupcake. A cream cheese icing though. Sounds like it'll be good. Like a nice little Christmas tree on it. This is beautiful. I like it, it looks good. It looks probably like it's gonna taste almost exactly like the first cupcake. A little Christmas tree on top. The picture inside had a much larger Christmas tree on top, but still looks pretty nice. And then, to celebrate the birth of Jackson, they gave me a Mickey-shaped cookie. Look at that. Merry Christmas. This is a gingerbread cake topped with cream cheese icing, a buttercream tree, white chocolate accents, and a white chocolate deer. I feel like this is gonna taste exactly like the very first cupcake that we had. Cause it basically is the same thing. All right, let's see. It tastes exactly the same. It's good. It is good. Much better than any of the ice cream that we've had so far. I honestly didn't think that I was gonna suggest that you guys get these gingerbread cupcakes. I thought it was gonna be like, oh, the ice cream, get the ice cream, or even that Tatula Canteen thing. I thought those were gonna be the things that I was gonna suggest, but now it's not. It's definitely these cupcakes. I wish there wasn't as much sugar on top. I understand that they used it for like a decorative accent to like make it look like ice and snow. This is good, very spicy. Not like picante spicy, but like, Spicy, you know what I mean? Ginger spicy. All right, I just had one of the ears off of this Mickey chocolate chip cookie. That darn ice cream sandwich would have been amazing with these cookies as the buns. Would you call that a bun? 
on an ice cream sandwich are the cookies the bun we only have two more and the next one is a savory item so we're headed out of dino land usa and headed towards expedition everest here we are over at expedition everest and we're going over here to the thirsty river bar and trek snacks we're going to the trek snacks side of it to get ourselves a pretzel this is what we're getting over here a pumpkin pretzel pumpkin spice dusted pretzel dipped in orange icing oh it's not savory dang it Oh, yeah. Pretzels are plain. They're not pumpkin pretzels. Oh. Yes, that's a sweet pretzel. They are nice. Apple filling on the inside. Yeah. And we have a little bit of cinnamon. Wow. Thank you. Have a great day. Well, there it is. This is my pumpkin pretzel. It's beautiful. Let's give it a try. It looks like it's filled with something. I'm really wondering if it's just an orange colored icing or an orange flavored icing. Oh, it's definitely a sweet um, pretzel. It seems like it has apple pie filling on the inside, which is very interesting. Oh, that's pretty good. The icing definitely is not orange flavored. It's just orange colored. It doesn't really, I mean, it's not very orange colored at all. So this is good. I'd like to get a spot that doesn't have as much pumpkin dusting on it as I got. Let me try it from the other side over here. Hmm. Yeah. Easy to eat. It's a regular sweet pretzel like not too sweet though pumpkin spice on the outside apple filling on the inside pumpkin dusting orange icing of some sort kind of good not too sweet not too savory i don't know it's not bad not my favorite like the pumpkin dusting is not my favorite but i would say that this is better than any of the ice cream that we've got it's funny though because it's the same pretzel like dough as any of the other pretzels so i kind of wish it was salty but it's not it's sweet it's kind of confusing my mouth a little bit because it's like you know how pretzels have like a malt flavor to them that's what this has but it's a sweet malt flavor huh you guys see that on the inside there it's kind of like applesauce on the inside isn't it didn't think that this was going to be one of my favorite things. So far, three things that I didn't think were going to be my favorite turned out to be my favorite. Both those cupcakes and this pretzel. Just wanted to give you guys a close-up as to what the inside of it looked like. It's like an apple pie filling, but it's not chunky apples. It's like an apple sauce, but a sweet apple sauce. So that's what the inside of it looks like. Well, no. We have one more treat, and I think it's ice cream. So from Trek Snacks, we're going right next door to the Ananapur ice cream truck where they have peppermint ice cream. So the ice cream that was on my list was peppermint soft serve here at the ice cream truck and they don't have it anymore because it's been replaced with this forbidden mountain cone. So it actually worked out to my advantage because this isn't a Christmas cone, it's a Yeti cone, a forbidden mountain cone and uh, that doesn't have anything to do with Christmas so I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to get the ice cream, I'm done. I had six treats, said I was gonna have six treats. We did it, all right. I'll tell you what, standing in line for that ice cream was a wild ride for me emotionally. I'm like, was like working myself up to eat the, the ice cream cones that come out of there are huge. And I was like, oh, I got to eat this whole ice cream cone. I'm scared. It's going to hurt my tummy. And then I didn't have to worry about it because they don't have it. Eh, we did it. <laughs> Yay. Is that serendipity? I think it is. So, so I know that this is kind of out of place, but I came back to Dino Land because I thought I saw somewhere that you could meet Santa Goofy here. So I'm on the lookout, see if I can find him. There's Santa Goofy back here by Primeval World. He's helping out Santa. So there you have it, that was our trip out to Disney's Animal Kingdom to try all of the treats. It was a very difficult day because everything was just sweet. All kinds of sweets. You can only eat so many sweet things until your tummy starts hurting and my tummy hurts now. So I would suggest not doing that. And I think that uh, 
any of the things that I tried today are good. I think they are, they're tasty, they're delicious. I think that you guys would enjoy them, especially on vacation, because as you guys know, calories don't count on vacation. But if you're trying to eat all of them in one sitting, very difficult, very much too sweet. So far, my favorite things were the two cupcakes, delicious, and the pretzel was good too. The ice creams were not terrible, but I think that the other ones were better. The mousse at Satuli, I think was my least favorite because I, I wanted it to be more like cool flavored in my mouth, like a peppermint flavor, but it wasn't. So I don't know. All in all, it was a good trip and we did enjoy ourselves and we ate too much food and we had fun and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. And with that being said, we are off and we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Omar. I'm Leslie. I'm Violet. We're the Babone family from Augusta, Georgia. And, and now, now it's, it's time, time to pay, pay the price. price.